welcome back everybody i promised y'all a video about the first day in prison when i hit 10,000 subscribers and we surpassed that yesterday so we're at live at the tattoo shop brought my boy nico he's been to state prison i've been to federal prison so i figure we give y'all something special he'll talk about his experience his first day and my experience the first day so let's drop right into it so i'm gonna start with nico he can go ahead and tell about his first day tell him which, how it was man so on the ride there, man, there I, I was young and, and and I acted a fool, man. Well, um, any problems that I could give the police, deputies, whatever, I gave it to them. So they pack you a brown lunch when you go, and they come with two sandwiches with mustard, and uh, they got juice packs, little like uh, it's like a I don't know, like for a little kid. <laughs> so they give you the bag lunch. So me and this dude named MC uh, called us up, MC Hammer, this black dude. Really? Cool as shit, yeah. MC Hammer, man. He was Did he have the pants and everything? Nah, he was, you know. I'm look, joking, I'm joking. <laughs> look, so, they got us with our handcuffs, you know what I'm saying, and you're <clears throat> shackled in your feet, your handcuffs are like this, but so you can eat. So, we're talking and we're like, man, these deputies are playing music, we don't want to listen to it, we're like, can you turn it down? They're not doing it. They're being assholes. Um, not all deputies are like that, because there's some real cool deputies I met, but these dudes are dicks. So, we eat the sandwiches and we rip off all the crust. Say the man, I mean the mustard packs. Um, and we took the paper bags and we ripped them in real small pieces and we threw them all over the back seat of the car. And it's not carpet, it's that rubber. So if it gets wet, it sticks. So we didn't drink our juice. We dumped the juice all on the floor. <laughs> and then we took the man, the, the what? mustard. Yeah, we took the mustard and the sandwiches, the, the crust on the sandwich, and put it in the door, little seals. Anywhere we could stuff food <clears throat> and mustard, we destroyed this car. Well, I, all right, so, <laughs> yeah. so look, I, I had been on a two-man rule for uh, for causing problems in the jail I was in. What's that? Chest feet. No, two-man rule. Two-man is when you uh, when you threaten to do something <clears throat> to, the, to the police or the deputies, and um, they basically don't let you go anywhere. Um, a lot of whole time, man. Um, I just give them problems, man. I'll buck, flood the cell, shake the bars. You don't give me extra she food. She was not a model inmate. Oh, no, nah, I want no model inmate, man. I, <laughs> um, I was an asshole. And uh, they made it so I had to go to court in, uh, in an orange jumpsuit with multiple deputies, not just two, multiple deputies. So I was right. in a lot of trouble. So uh, I was given a year and eight months of my first sentence. <clears throat> I've done a lot of time, a lot, like 17 years, a lot of time. Four times in, in, in Virginia, one time in North Carolina. But it counted it. The, the Carolina and the Virginia, the last time I went was Carolina, Virginia, and it was just a concurrent sentence. So I went to Carolina. So for real, if I want to break it down, it's like five times. So like off and on, 17 years. God damn, um, man. my life yet. Damn. Yeah. And not like I didn't do all 17 years in prison. Over 17 years period, I did a lot of that. But like I'll be out for like six months. Jeez. For like three months. Or like See, I week. didn't know all that. Yeah, like I a didn't week. know all that. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I call myself being an asshole, and you can't handcuff me because, man, my, my hands are real small, and I can come out the handcuffs. So, unless you got the black box, you're hit, and I come out the handcuffs, <laughs> man. And uh, when I first pulled up to prison, man, it was during the day. It was kind of early. It was around 11 o'clock. We got to Mecklenburg, and it was the most scary thing I ever seen in my life. Like, straight up. Yeah, that's how I felt. All the barbed wire, all the chain link fence, the CO standing out with shotguns and pistols, and they got the old revolver pistols. So you go through the Sally Port, and you got all these COs standing around, dudes in the hole, and another building screaming at you. I ain't know what to expect. It's like, I watch TV and hear the, hear the horror stories, but, like, it won't at all like that. You know what I mean? But dudes are just testing you. You know what I'm saying? So, I, uh, now, hold up. Is uh, Mecklenburg what level? It's receiving. Oh, it's receiving. Okay. Yeah, so it's every level. Okay. But, um, okay, so I did all right. You know what I mean? As far as acting better when I got there because it's different rules and they like to smash heads. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they will too. Um, yeah. They put you in the hole and everything's good till you get in the hole. Then, like Mecklenburg, check this out. What? If you buck in the hole in Mecklenburg, they got a table they strap you to butt naked and leave you there. Really? Yeah. Damn. No bullshit. Um, That's crazy. So the next place I went to was uh, Haynesville. And uh, it's a level two, like a, a 
uh, a high two, low three. Okay. So I was a level three because, you know, I was a dumbass and caught a lot of charges in the jail as far as write-ups and, and sight rots and just acting crazy. He's just a crazy inmate, man. Nah, man. All right, so inciting a rot, it's not what you guys think. So yeah. this is what it is. <laughs> you get a tray. If you don't get commissary, this is the only food you get. They serve you beans. Beans, beans, beans. Beans all the time. Well, our, our room out of the pod in Chesapeake was the first room to get called, and it's like eight to ten people in a room. Okay. Okay? I come in. My bean tray got water. It's bean-flavored water. So I'm like, nah, I'm not taking this. Everybody's tray is like that. So uh, I'm like, nah, the deputy's like, look, put it aside. I'll fix it. Okay. So I'm like, nah, I'm not going to accept this shit. Give me another tray. And he's like, nah, I'll fix it later. And I'm like, nah, I got to eat now. It's my turn to eat. I want my tray. Just give me another tray. They don't even care. He gave me another tray. Oh, he did? Okay. But I'm being an asshole. I'm screaming. And oh, shit. I got you. Gave me another tray. Same tray. Everybody's in the whole pod. Now, you got to think. It's 80, what, what, 75 to 80 people in the pod. Everybody's tray was like this. So I'm like, yo, man, put it on the desk. So trays start piling up on this desk. It's like an L-shaped desk they used to have in Chesapeake. Shit starts falling over. So Damn. he's like, lock down, lock down, lock down. I'm like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. We're not locking down. So they get me for inciting a rap, put me in the hole. Oh, I got so you. that that's like dumb shit. And it, when you see on paper, yeah, yeah. it's a problem. You know what I mean? So um, <clears throat> I get to Haynesville, man. And I'm like, okay, I'm filling this place out. It's a dormitory. So it's a lot of people. Well, okay, that this is the craziest shit ever. When they give me my bed assignment, I walk up, my bunkie's there, right? So... He's a black dude named Charles. I think his name, whatever his name was. He was about to say Sylvester. Sylvester, Charles, whatever the fuck his name was. Yeah. All right. So I'm putting my stuff up. And they give you this big ass gray box. And then it's a foot locker that you can put all your stuff in. I'm trying to make my bed. And he's standing like right there. And I'm like, yo, man, I'm Nico, man. How you doing? Da, 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 da. And man, this is what this dude first told me, man. I was so shocked. I was like, really? The reaction was like, holy fuck. Did he really just say the shit? I said, what's up? I'm Nico, man. How you doing on your bunkie? He looks at me, stands up. I got my hand out as a gesture of, you know, hey, how you doing? A welcoming gesture. Yeah. This dude looks at my hand, looks back at me like this. Man, my peoples was slaves to your people. Wow. Straight up. I'm not lying. He, he said this and I said, oh, fuck. I got one of these straight up racist, dude. Not cool at all. Don't know me. I'm Italian, man. You know what I mean? I'm not English. I'm not French. I'm Italian. So... This dude is, he, he's off his rockers. <clears throat> so, I guess he calls, calls himself giving me problems. Mm. So, I try to draw, man. You know, I've been tattooed forever. So, I'm drawing, writing, and I stand on my bed because there's nowhere to sit. And the tables are like stainless steel octagon bullshit. So, and then there's still nowhere to sit because people are playing chess, playing cards. Right. They're gambling, making food. Yeah. They're doing everything, right? So, I stand up on my bed. It's a bunk bed. I'm standing up on this little foot locker, and I guess it's about... I don't know, man. About two foot? That's two foot? Yeah, that's Maybe. about, yeah. About two okay. foot, foot and a half, two foot. Yeah. I'm standing up on it, and I'm on the opposite end. I want to stand over this man and have my, my, my shit in his face. So he's at one side. Which, you know, I got a cut on the right side of it if you stand right. in front of the bed. My cut is on the right. His is on the left. we the in bed. So he's watching TV, so I purposely stand so my shit's not in his face. as a respect thing, right? Because, you know, I'm not a gump. You know, and, and I, I tell, don't, him, tell him what the gunk thing means. The gunk is know homosexual, is. man. Yeah, it, it, it's a fluffy man. It's a, it's a faggot. It's a it's a homosexual. Yeah. Not, if you in that life, that's cool. Yeah, that's we not we me. don't judge. We, nah, we it's me, but that. that's not me. I'm not yeah. the gunk, so I'm not gonna open myself up to any opportunity for that shit because right. it's prison. You know what I mean? And you get the wrong idea and shit, man. Shit can pop off. Be serious. Yeah, exactly. Or it could go the other route. It could go any route, man. I don't want no parts <laughs> of it. Still, three G's, man, in prison. This is the rule. Stay away from the three G's. Gangs, gumps, and gambling. And you'll be all right. My I don't know, man. I gamble up. in prison. Yeah, but it could cause a problem. Uh, yeah, you don't get in debt. You yeah, can gamble. A, that's a gamble. Just don't get That's how I, do. I still Gangs, gamble to this day. Gangs, gambling, man. Don't fuck with them and you'll be uh, all right. You know I learned I mean? how to gamble in prison. I do sports betting, though. Well, that's you, what I do. I wasn't you know really sports. cards. Yeah. You know sports. Okay. I like sports. So, I'm standing up, man, and this dude tapped me like this. <clears throat> he was like, yo, man, you standing over me. I need you to move. I'm like, all right, cool. So I slide my little shit down, yeah. right? Now I'm standing on my gray tote, right? Right. So I'm, uh, I stand on my gray tote and I start writing again. And this is like, now this isn't instantly. This has been like a week or two. So <clears throat> I start drawing again. And like two minutes later, he tapped me again. Yo, man, you standing over top of me. 
So I looked down and was like, so where are you going to sit? Because I need to do what I'm doing on my bed. Right. It's state issue to me. I ain't asked to be a bunkie, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I just sleep above you, man. You sleep underneath me. That's it. So um, where do you want me to stay? Man, you can't stand over here. And I'm like, now my boy Chris, this dude, this little young dude that was cool with me. Uh, we used to chill and shit and uh, swell up and do all the stuff, right? Walk a rickyard and everything. It was my little, uh, my little road dog. So... I'm like, <sighs> I'm shaking my head, and Chris is like, "Don't do it, man! Don't, don't!" And I'm not a tough guy, you know what I'm saying? You got to go like off fight, on him, man, because this dude has just been doing little stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And now he's telling me I can't even stand on my own shit. Little problems can become Seriously. big problems. So I, quick. I was like, "What's up, bro?" I was like, "We're not gonna do this." Basically, screaming, "Do you challenge him in front of everybody?" And he mm. got real quiet. And this dude is like a little smaller than you. Okay. But I screamed on him real loud in front of everybody. Just to let him know, hey, look, man, I'm not scared of you, bro. Like, you're, gonna, you're not going to fucking push me around. I'm not your fucking boy. I'm not your homeboy. You're fucking racist. I'm not racist, man. Right. Like, keep that shit to yourself because I'm not trying to hear it. Now, around us is some old heads, some old black heads, some Moors. I don't know if you got It's a religious thing, the uh, Moors Science Temple. Um, Was it Moors Science Temple? Yeah, the Moors uh, Science yeah, Temple. So the Moors, okay. they got the little red hats and stuff. Right. Real cool people, man. Right. Um, And I know a lot of them are cool with me. You know what I mean? So... Basically, like, the whole, whole camp is like, I'm all I do. You know what I mean? Like, I don't cause problems. I don't get shit stirred up. Nothing like that. At least, I try not to. Sometimes shit just happens. So, yeah. So, dudes was like, yo, man, hey, you need to chill on the little young dude, man, talking to him about me. And they were like, what you doing is fucking wrong. You know what I mean? That man ain't done nothing to you, man. You know what I mean? He's like, no, nah, because This he, is still your first he, day, he right? He called me a... Uh, no, no, no. This has been a couple weeks. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm jumping. This is oh, a couple gotcha. weeks. <laughs> He's jumping all over the he place. He said, no, no, no. Fuck that cracker. That's what he said. That's what he said? That's what he said wow. to the dude about me. And, and the dude was like, but he don't even talk to you. He's done nothing to you. He's, right. I watch him. He's respected. Now, hold on. Are y'all still cellies at this time? No, bunkies, because it's the dorm. Oh, you're in the dorm. Yeah, okay, the okay. Dorm. I got you. I so, got you. Um, so the dude's just like, man, <clears throat> pull me to the side. I was like, look, man, I'm talking to the CEO. I'm in good with the CEO. I'm going to just get you moved. So, like, that's the solution. That's what happened. You know what I mean? And I was good then, man. The dude just, man, you got to think, man, people like that, they hate themselves, man. For whatever reason, they depressed for whatever reason. So, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? They just, I don't understand shit like that. Yeah. But it's his just life, try to man. stay away from people yeah. like that It's if his you life, can. bro. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, I mean, little shit like that, man. If it would have escalated, man, it could have been anything. Because, like, man, look, I'm 145 pounds. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I'm going to give you an example. I'm in Chesapeake. Soaking wet. Soaking wet. Like, <laughs> I'm in Chesapeake, man. I'm not going to name names or not like that. He knows who he is um, if he views this. Um, I'm in Chesapeake, man, and I'm sticking up for this dude, this younger dude. Um, who, I mean, he's not gay, but he acts kind of feminine, but he's a, a, a straight dude. You know what I mean? He, he's a cool dude. You know what I mean? And I, I talk to him and stuff. With this other dude, man, he's big, man. He's big. He's bigger than you. I'm not that big. Man, but he's bigger than you. The dude's like 260. Okay. 240, 260. He's a big dude. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, he's a little prison, bigger. All right. Been to prison, you know, I, and some shit. I'm not getting into conversation, but basically, man, I was like, man, stop picking on him, man. You ain't got to pick on the dude, man. Like, he's not going to fight. He's not doing nothing. Bro, I'm laying in the bed. 145 pounds, this dude got me by almost double. Yeah. I'm laying in the bed. You see my nose? Looking crooked. See my nose? Your nose it's, is crooked, man. Yeah. I never he noticed. broke my shit while I was laying down under the covers. He snuck me. That's the type shit, like, just anything, like, the wrong verbal altercation, people stressed out, can't see their family, right. don't know what's going to happen to them, they might just be dickheads, you yeah. know what I mean? They might just like to fight, you know what I mean? If you don't like to fight, and I mean, but you can't duck shit, <coughs> you can't always duck it, yeah. you know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to go. Do a so, check-in move, Yeah, which can, is frowned upon, yeah, you don't, you don't want to do that. You, don't, you just get your ass beat, Yeah, it's not much to it, but no, I mean, like, yeah. a little dude like me, like, I tell everybody, like... Like, that's jail. Like, on the street, it's something completely different. Because, like, there's guns out here. Right. You know what I mean? In, in the jail, you ain't got guns. So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what are you going to do? You got to fight. Gonna, I'm not. I'm Stabbed a fan. I can't something. have no gun. But I'm just saying, like, I'm just putting that out there. That there are guns out there. Don't run your fucking mouth because some people are crazy. I'm not crazy. Well, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> I am off, but not like that. He's the good crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, like. I was in, in in a joint one time. I had to put a lock in the sock with a dude, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, dude didn't apologize. He he put hands on me and like in front of people. It won't nothing physical or nothing like. But he he like he just a disrespectful move. You know what I mean? I won't punk down or nothing like that. It was just a disrespectful move. Right. And he ain't apologize. So 
I don't want to get carried. So I put three locks in the sock and hit the dude in the face while he was sleeping because he's bigger than you. Yeah. I ain't got no wins. But for real, like, I look at it like this. If me and him were to fight and he beat me up, he don't get no points. If I beat him up, nah. I get points. Yeah. If I I'm stab, a big guy. Yeah. If I, I stab am. him, that's fair. If I shoot him, that's fair. If I poke my finger in his eye, that's fair. He can't do that to me. That's not fair. You know what I mean? Because I'm small, so anything I do is fair. That's yeah. how I look at shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, you know, it, it, the dude he, the dude I, I hit with a lock, he, he was in another compound that I was in. He pointed at me. He knew I did it. So, during wreck, I put a razor blade in a, in a toothbrush, melted it down, and tapped him in the shoulder and hit him in the side of the face, ran up behind him. Wow. And that's and a wrap. Called ass. That's a wrap. Called ass and see those it, put me in the fucking hole, put him in the hole, took me out, dropped the fucking charges because, dude, was fucking with little dudes like me yeah. his whole bid of 20 years. Like, that's what he do. He, he picks a target and he fucks with him and fucks with him, stores him, whatever else he does. He never did it to me because I sliced his shit open. Now he's got a pushed in cheek and a big ass scar. Damn, dude. So, nice try, wrong white guy. <laughs> wrong white guy. So, you know. But well, my I mean, experience was not as crazy as those. You know what I mean? As far as mine. Federal is a whole different story. Yeah. Um, From what I've been hearing, like talking with him, I talked to a few other. You know, inmates that's been the comics that have been in the state. State's more worse than federal. Federal is more... Uh, laid back? Not laid back. I mean, I guess it just depends where you go. Um, I was at a medium up in Petersburg. Uh, started my time out there. And in my last two years... I did six years. In my last two years, ended up at Butner, which is laid back. Um, but my first day... What was it? Uh... Start off in Portsmouth. That's a hell of a job. I think, yeah, I was in Portsmouth City Jail <laughs> for three months of waiting to uh, to be sentenced. <clears throat> when I got sentenced, Portsmouth City Jail sucks. Dirty. That shit oh, is dirty. Nasty. But the feds are contracted with Portsmouth City Jail. So, yeah, Chesapeake, yeah. Norfolk, Hampton Roads Regional, uh, Roads Regional um, I think Virginia Beach, too. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I've been there. Yeah. But I was in Portsmouth and Western Tidewater. Yeah. Because I was there, too. But, so I'm waiting in Portsmouth City Jail to be sentenced after they arrest me. But since the feds are contracted with these local jails around here, we're kept separate from better treatment. regular inmates. It was better, better food. kind of, yeah. But we're, the people that were had misdemeanors were housed with us. Okay. Like okay. simple street yeah, charges, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Anybody who's got arrested for felony, they're not arrested with us. Excuse me. So that's, they didn't want anything happening to the feds. Of course not. The that's feds, that would be a lawsuit. Yeah. Hell yeah. So anyway, I'm sentenced. Um, they call my name, everything early in the morning with about three, four other guys. And uh, we get on the bus and we go into Petersburg. It's only an hour away from where we're at. Um, so we get there, we pull up. Everybody's laughing and joking, you know what I'm saying? Feds and shit. Because the feds, Petersburg is a camp, uh, not a camp, it's a, it's a whole institution. So you got a camp there, a low, and a medium. Uh, I figured I was going to a camp based on my charge. If y'all ain't seen my other video, I did some white collar shit. So me being nonviolent, I figured I was going to go to a camp. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so you're going right to that medium based on my juvenile charges. It elevated my classification oh, oh, points. Oh, oh, pause real quick. Yeah. So the video of the voice, your voice ain't that deep. Because oh, this is my normal voice, and I talk at the same time, so he can't listen, listen, talk, talk, yeah, so they know. I'm, my voice like, is deep. Right now, this is our... So y'all hating on my voice, so sorry I mean, for you. Right. Grow so up. His voice that's is That's all I can deep, tell you. For real. He's like Rocky. You know, that's yeah. just the way my voice is. I can't help it. My whole facial features, I can't help. Mine either. I'm not insecure about that shit. Mine either. Neither is he. You can help them pose, though. Y'all out there in the comments talking all that crap, hey, that's what you do. Y'all are clowns to me and him. So, yeah, anyway, we pull up on the bus, I'm going through classification, go through R&D. I don't know what it's called in the state. It's, it's, is it R&D too? No, what is it, R&D? Uh, receiving a discharge. Yeah, it's receiving. Okay, yeah. yeah so no they, just, they have a, their own yeah. room, though. It's not a building. The yeah, I, we've I, been I, out I for years, years now. I've been out since 2009. And I've been you out since I mean? 2010, um, so. I don't want to live this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just talking about this, like, I don't but like But even it. though I don't like it. we've been out, this... This is how much it sticks with you, though. We've been out for years, and we can still remember Yeah, but most of the things that we went through. Powhatan, man, they got a section off of the compound 
this sh- just receive it, man. Yeah. This place is so old, they don't got a, a, a heat or an AC system. For your heat, you got a pipe in the corner of the of the, uh, the, the, the room, the barred little tiny six by eight. They, they got a pipe, it's tan. And when you want to make coffee, you take a, co- a old coffee bag, and you take a string, you rip off a sheet, and you, you heat the water up like yeah. that, and it gets warm enough that it melts the coffee, but really not warm enough. And then they say you get one hour out every day. It's really every three days. <laughs> um, they don't give a fuck Jeez. about your rights. They don't care <clears throat> if you like it or not. Uh, they got a hot box, for real hot box. They turn the heat in the new section of the receiving. They got these rooms. They turn the heat up real super high, and they sweat you out for days. Yeah. Um, it's no joke, man. Like, dudes are walking around the wreckyard with swords. And I, I don't mean shank, man. You know, you can you can fashion any kind of weapon, uh, pointed object to hurt somebody. Right. Um, these are swords, man. These are swords in the ground, made of plastic, so it's no radar. I mean radar. <laughs> it's no, <laughs> no metal radar. detector, nothing. And these dudes do it to you, man. Like that. That is not a place to play with. Uh, I went to Red Onion before that. That's that, and I was scared to death. And I was involved. That's the max, ain't it? Because of this bald head and my tattoos, I, I'm I'm mistaken for Aryan brother. Right. I do not condone that shit. I got a black dude. I don't know if anybody knows who it is. Music soul child. I love this dude, man. Uh, I do R and B. I love R and B. Um, this dude is tattooed on my back. You know what I mean? I got a black dude's name tattooed on my arm. That's his lover. No, I'm playing. It's, it is, <laughs> no, I'm it playing. It could be my lover. But I'm it's playing, not man. My lover. So, um, I just uh, I don't condone in that. And just the tattoos that I have, um, I couldn't be. They, they're they're not about me. I was just like, uh, what was it, uh, last, no, two, three weekends ago, lady came in to get yeah. tattooed by him. Yeah. And just based on his appearance, assumed he was in yeah. ABs. And, and you can hear the way I talk, man. Um, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, what? Uh, uh, urban. I'm very urban. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The man uh, dance his ass off. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, All right, so my first day, not exciting as his, like I was saying, um, Transferred from Portsmouth City Jail to Petersburg, get on the bus, whatever, get there, got me in receiving. I ain't never been to jail, or I ain't never, I ain't never been to prison. Scared as hell. How you go to prison if you ain't been to jail? No, I've been to jail. I'm saying I've never been to prison. <laughs> I ain't never been to prison because, you know, so I'm scared. I, I'm i in the big time now, yeah. especially at a medium. Man, listen, anybody who says they weren't scared the first time going to prison is a fucking liar. Yeah. So I don't know what to expect. I'm more anxious. I'm scared and anxious. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what to expect. So anyway, I go through receiving and discharge R&D. Um, they asked about my tattoos or anything. I am not. I wasn't as tattooed as I am now, but I still have some tattoos because they got a gang mm-hmm. officer there. Staker. Yeah. So um, I finally get classified, whatever, and I'm being sent to the pod. I forget what pod I was in. Block, whatever you want to call it. A, B or something. A2 or something. B2. I think it was B2 or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I was supposed to get go see the CEO that was uh, overseeing everybody. <clears throat> so I give him my room assignment. I see him giving my room assignment. So I'm on my way to, we had a cell. It was a four-man cell. Um, so he said, you got to go to this room over here. Out of nowhere, this big black dude comes across running across the whole pod. No nah, man, no nah, man. We don't want a white dude in our cell. We don't want a white dude in our cell. I was like, man, come on. I'm already. I ain't even been here thirty minutes, and it's already about to happen. I don't know if he's going to do anything in front of the CEO or what's going. If he's going to get me after, you know, I get in the room, or whatever. But I guess the CEO talked to him, and because he was raising all sorts of hell, they already had three people in there. They weren't trying to have a fourth person, especially a white guy. Go figure. Um, you what? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess they worked it out whatever <clears throat> and it turns out the other two cellies weren't in there at the time they were I guess work assignment whatever and one of them came back and it turns out one of my other cellies was actually from Suffolk so I was straight after that needless to say yeah, that pulls he put the, the, yeah, he put the other dude in the chat I got a brother that's locked up in the feds. Yeah. So I'm familiar with a little bit, just what he tells me. Um, but yeah, basically, man, like, like, Tywood in the state, Tywood and Richmond, they beef. And yeah, in the, the feds, they don't. 
they're they're cool. Everybody's cool in the yeah. feds, but yeah, like you he said, up with one click yeah. and that's it. I mean, it ain't like the feds. Like, I'm assuming. I, Virginia know. hangs together in the state. Whatever state you're from, you hang with them. Right, right. Oh, there, there is gangs. Don't get me wrong, because later on that evening, I was approached by a couple white guys. Tell me, yeah, every Friday night they have a, a white guy meeting mm-hmm. over in the church. Oh, they and I'm just to to yeah. And I'm I'm just looking at the dude. I'm like, I'm not about that. Never have been. So I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good, man. Yeah. Well, if you change your mind, not. you know, just let me know. He didn't sound like that. I'm just mocking him because I don't like that no, shit. Big old beard looking like Santa Claus. You can't have that in the space. So I don't know. They just got rid of shaving profiles when I was Oh, yeah, you could gross shit out, Feds. Nah, you can't even add shit up. Yeah, that's why I heard you have to shave everything. You can have a mustache, yeah, right? Mustache. Well, yeah, now you can, can have, have they used to have a shaving profile with, like, you can get it short like this. Yeah. But you, you can do all cut this, but none of this. And you can you can trim your mustache up. For facial hair, oh. you can't trim that up. My main thing was I have to get used to a routine. I didn't know anything about prison. I didn't know what was what. Luckily, the guy I was you know in the cell with mm-hmm. walked me through it because he'd been there about four years. And like I said, he was from Suffolk, so he showed me the ropes. And of course, even I got approached by these white dudes about trying to get me into the whole white thing hmm. but there was other white dudes that weren't about that and they approached me too showing me who the store man was you know what kind of programs I could take and all that stuff how much time I had and just trying to get me used to it and that was pretty much how my day went you know went to eat <laughs> I mean it wasn't really nothing all the stories I'm gonna tell y'all happened later like the fights between DC and North Carolina inmates hmm. that shit was nuts I'm trying to watch Sopranos. These motherfuckers start fighting all over the goddamn pot. I was so mad because I wanted to watch Sopranos. Lockdown. <laughs> Lockdown. 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 And the crazy thing was, there was no CO in the pot at the time. I just see out of nowhere, there's four fights going on at the same time. My was getting hit with mop buckets and shit. Yeah, I remember when the MS-13 and the Bloods went in. We had a tons of those. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they were stabbing each other and everything. It was nuts. But yeah, I promise y'all a video. Like I said, my shit wasn't too exciting. My story about other stuff that's going to happen, which I'm going to wait for later videos, are more exciting. If you would have done more time, you had more stories. If I had more time, yeah. But we don't, so we're about to close up shop over here. So we figured make a little video for y'all. Uh, Trying to go home and go to sleep. See my channel blowing up, and I really appreciate it. I really do. All my new subscribers, welcome. Hope you enjoy watching these videos. I know I show a lot of 60s mm-hmm. in, but... I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos, too. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave comments. You know, smash that like button. And subscribe. if you haven't subscribed, yeah, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, do so. And uh, I love y'all, man. I really do. I really I really love y'all sharing stuff with y'all. And uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you on the next one.